By the end of this video, you will know how to make a basic A-line skirt pattern from start to finish in clothes. You can apply this pattern drafting method onto hand drafting pattern as well as onto cloth drafting. For example, I'm going to use cloth software to draft these skirt patterns. You will not require to know cloth software to learn this simple drafting method. I will walk you through step by step on how to draft these A-line skirt patterns. These include measuring your body, picking the correct avatar size for your skirt, sewing it in clothes, fitting the skirt onto the avatar, then apply the fabrics onto the skirt all done in clothes. To sew this skirt, first we want to deactivate these two pattern pieces so when we simulate a skirt, it, these pieces will stay deactivated, okay? To deactivate these first pattern pieces, I'm going to the transform tool, click on one to select, then I'm going to marquee both of these pattern pieces and then I'm going to right click and then select the activate pattern only and I'm going to click one on the page to release after that we can sew the skirt so I'm going to kind of zoom out of the skirt a little bit in this 3d window because I want to sew it in this 2d window and to do so I'm going to click one on this 3D workspace and then I'm going to press down command plus minus sign to zoom out. After that I'm going to just click on this. You see when I hover the mouse over the center window I can left click and then drag to the left so I can expand this 2D window. And next I'm going to use the segment sewing tool to sew the waistband size seam as well as the skirt size seam okay so come over here the second sewing machine icon click on it then hover the mouse to the right and select segment sewing and i'm going to come down here let me zoom in see right there when i hover the mouse over this sewing line you can see this notch begin from top notch to bottom so next I'm going to come over here to this opposite waistband seam and I'm going to click once again to place my other sewing okay as you can see the notch or match okay from top to bottom from top to bottom next I'm going to sew the side seam to sew the side seam just click on it and then click once again on this opposite side seam to sew them together and as you can see we did not finish sewing this part so we can either use this edit sewing tool right here click on it and then come back over here and then just click on that sewing and adjust it to the end of the skirt seam next i'm going to press down option or all and then left click to pan this workspace over to the left and I'm going to the segment sewing tool once again, which is the second sew machine icon. Click on it and then hover the mouse to the right, select segment sewing tool. And after that, click one on the left waistband here and then click once again on this opposite waistband to place your sewing. I'm going to do the same down here. Click one to start, 
and then click one to sew them together and again I can either use this segment sewing tool to sew the next line here just click it and then sew okay after that I'm going to once again pan this you see this ring I'm going to press down option or all and then left click to pan over here because next we want to sew this center line of the skirt and I'm going to click to one here and then I'm going to press down option all on the keyboard and then I'm going to left click and I'm going to sew to this back skirt okay all right so let me zoom out just a little bit so we can see a bigger picture here press your two finger on the mouse pad and then slide it backward to zoom out after that I'm going to press down optional all and zoom out a little more and again I'm going to use this edit sewing tool over here this first sewing machine icon click on it and I'm going to just see right here click on that pink sewing line right there and then drag it down okay and i'm going to click one on the workspace to release so next after we sew the side seam and the back seam of the skirt we're going to sew the waistband over here to the skirt okay to sew the waistband i'm going to use a free sewing tool which is this third sew machine icon click on it and then hover the mouse to the right and select free sewing tool next i'm going to just press down option or all and then left click to pan this workspace a little bit to the right then i'm going to click one on the waistband to begin the sewing and then just hover the mouse along that waistband click once again to place the next sewing and next I'm going to click one on the you see the center skirt and then I'm going to press down shift on the keyboard and then click once again to place the next sewing while the shift key is still pressing down click one more time on that sewing right there to place the next sewing and then click once again to press the next sewing and then release the shift key and now the skirt waistband sew it to the skirt that's perfect and this is cool guys let me zoom out a little bit okay let me press down option all and then left click you see right here since a back skirt are linked together i only need to sew one size of the skirt back and now they both sewn okay next we're gonna sew the front waistband to the front skirt while the free sewing tool is active i'm going to click one on this waistband to begin the sewing then click once again at the end for the next point then i'm going to click it again for the sewing to sew to and then i'm going to press down shift on the keyboard and then click once again then click while the shift key is still pressing down i'm going to click click and then click once again to finish and release the shift key so you must release the shift key after you click okay if you release the shift key before you click the sewing will just automatically sew to everything and you don't want that okay now as you can see we just sew the waistband to the skirt waist and let me uh, take a look you see right here somehow a dot didn't sew together so we're going to sew the dot as well okay 
So to sew the dot, I'm going to use the segment sewing tool instead. So once again, this second sewing machine icon, click on it and then hover the mouse to the right. Select the segment sewing tool and I'm going to just hover the mouse over the left arm dot, click on it. And then hover the mouse over to the right arm dot, click on once again to sew them together. I'm going to do the same with this dot. And let me look in the back skirt. The back skirt dot did not sew together either. So I'm going to just click one to start and click the next one to finish the sewing. And next I'm going to sew this hem skirt, okay? To sew the hem skirt, I would like to just zoom in a little bit. Again, guys, place your two fingers onto this mouse pad and then slide it forward to zoom in. And I'm going to press down option at all and left click to pan the workspace to the right. To hem this skirt, I'm going to use the segment sewing tool, okay? Just click on that second sewing machine icon, hover the mouse to the right, and select that segment sewing tool. And I'm going to just click one to start here on this sewing line, and then click one to finish on this base edge pattern, okay? I'm going to do the same with this front pattern skirt. Just press down option all and left click. And then I'm going to just press right, click right there to begin my sewing and then click over here to sew my pattern too. So I'm going to just come over here and click on this edit sewing tool. Then I can actually see if I can sew everything. Looks like, yeah. So I'm going to zoom out again, guys. Command or control plus minus sign to zoom out. Looks like we are safe to simulate our skirt. So I'm going to come over here to the 3D window and I'm going to click on the simulation function to simulate. Okay. So it looks like a skirt him a little tangle here. So to fix that tangle, first of all, I'm going to my key, select all the pattern, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to strengthen the pattern, okay? I want to see what's wrong with it. So it seems like it's okay. Okay, I found some issue to this, okay? It's because the falling line here is have too much strength, okay? So let me uh, come over here, zoom this out a little bit. Let me just rotate her. I'm going to press down command or control and then right click to rotate her. So let me just click on this. The front, so 70, I'm going to just type in this folding line to 69. And then I'm going to click one on the page to confirm that. I'm going to do the same here with the back skirt. Okay, and I'm going to type in 69. And then I'm going to click one here to confirm the falling angle. And as you can see, we do have the flat, flat, flat folding angle perfect. Okay. So next, I'm going to select this tool right here. Select slash smooth tool to deselect all the sewing so we can see better. Okay, so as you can see, we just finished sewing a skirt and create this perfect hem for a skirt as well.